so hello everybody we're here now you can see you can see um, habitat of the, the destruction everything is just so broken and all in the name of development whatever the times mean the time means right now for the destruction of the ecosystem of the Gambia um, it's amazing what human beings can do, man. You this know? This is a shame, man. This is, a, this is more than a shame. I mean, just because of some pitiful gains. Look at this. They have cleared an entire field just for a hotel. Trees that were here for thousands of years yeah. and now decimated. And I have my brother nothing. here. Can you say something? Well, unfortunately, as I'm dressed, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm coming from a function at Cocoa Ocean, but I just can't stop but to just come and see the destruction and mayhem done here on our name. This park's been here since 1952, and it has served a purpose. It's been an ecosystem, a sanctuary, and a safe haven for rare species of birds, trees, and monkeys that Gambia has lost over the years. And what we have heard is that the authorities, or former authorities of the Ministry of Tourism, gave someone a piece of land to do a development project here. This place is a place that's legally protected and no one should do development here but to make matters worse the people who have given the mandate for people to come here and do a project don't have the mandate because this is outside of the scope of the GTB that's the tourism board because this is a park yes it's under wildlife it is protected and there is no development that can come here but nonetheless if even they want to do a development under our TDA guidelines they need to do what you call an EAIS, an Environment Impact Assessment Study. And if any study were to be done here, this would have been a failed project. No one will allow such a project to come in here. So what we have seen here, to, to, as far as I'm concerned, is an utter um, disregard for you know, our biodiversity, it's an utter disregard to our ecosystem, and it's an utter disregard to Gambians. And this is why we need a Freedom of Information Act whereby Gambians know what people are doing in their name. Because surely this is not done under my name or the name of any Gambian who is meaningful in terms of developing this country or seeing the biodiversity of this country being preserved. So what we are doing here, to be honest, like I said, we are just coming from a function. Let me just show them how. And most of us are not well dressed for this. But honestly, we really need to bring the people who committed these atrocities to book. And also government need to levy a fine on the developer that's that came here because they have flouted the rules of doing development which was to do an environmental study and an environmental study would not have allowed such a thing to thrive. The trees that were standing here are between 300 to 800 years old according to what I'm told and they're all gone. The monkeys that used to live on the trees are nowhere to be seen because their habitat has been destroyed and decimated by hungry wolves who care less about Gambia but profitability in a country that is vulnerable. The vulnerability of Gambia right now shouldn't be taken to, um, to the market. Gambia is not up for sale. Gambia is open for business but not up for sale. So, immortal, I'm very pissed and I'm not happy with what I see. And to be honest, I mean, look at this. This place used to be dark with a forest cover, yeah, just like a ceiling. Definitely. There's nothing out here right now. And this is not only atrocious but a shameful act done on our name. And to me, this is not done under my name and I'm pissed. Definitely. I mean... This is, a, a, we, we have seen um, a lot of monkeys now going inside the towns because they have no habitat where they could stay whatsoever. I mean, you know, it's an, it's a, it's an old myth somehow in our country that um, trees here, that's a sign of development, that we, we, don't, um, we don't have anything in place to protect our ecosystem, to be able to protect um, what we have which is most valuable. Somebody just called me earlier on and she was very troubled. And she's a very um, prominent person in the hotel industry. And she was like, people don't really come to Gambia for the amazing beaches if you think they come here for that because there's so many amazing beaches around the world. They come here for the, our biodiversity and for a whole lot of things that doesn't have to do with hotels. There's a lot of hotels in Gambia. There's a, the, sea, the coastline is sufficient to build um, a hotel. But um, when we are not doing anything like this now. And um, the government really needs to step in, like my brother was saying. You know, look at this emptiness, this vast emptiness, you know, where monkeys have lived for thousands of years probably. And 
and we're not doing anything about it. And our government is silent because somehow, you know, you, you get given a small token by corporations or hotel industries, you know, and destroy this thing that where we have coexisted with, with, with this ecosystem for a long time. Well, Gambians are looking for a win-win situation whereby we will have tourism but sustainable tourism. Tourism mm -hmm. whereby we will preserve the sanctity of our biodiversity and our ecosystem and yet still sell it as part of our cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. Because what we have here could have been a...